Okay, uh, we're going to show you a little race car maintenance today. Uh, we're tuning this car, we got it warmed up. We're going to do a quick compression test. Uh, compression test, what you're looking for is even numbers between all the cylinders. Uh, we have this cheapo gauge. Most of them are made in China, some of them are better than others. But what you're looking for is evenness. Even if this gauge has 100, as long as every cylinder is 100, um, you're, you're, you're happy. You don't want to see more than a 5 or 10% difference between cylinders. If you do see more than a 5 or 10% di difference between cylinders, the next test you're going to be doing is a leak down test so you can determine where your leak is coming from. Uh, we already tested this cold, so I know approximately what it's going to be, but we're going to do it hot as well. And I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks for you guys that are doing this alone. So first thing we do is take out the coils, which we already have done. Then we're going to take out all of the spark plugs. Don't leave any plugs in there because it'll make it hard for your engine to crank. So we've taken all four of our spark plugs out already. If you are um, going to be doing this with somebody starting the car from inside, you're going to want to disconnect or disable all of your injectors and your fuel pump. You do not want to be spraying fuel into the cylinder when you're trying to do this compression test. Um, we're going to be doing it with the, the key off actually. I'm going to be using a power probe to make the car crank. So the ECU is off, the power to all of this stuff is off, and we're basically just going to be making it crank with a with a power probe. Um, handy little way to do it. Just get the just get your power probe on the starter solenoid and you can hit the positive button and it'll crank. <clears throat> so where did I do it? My gauge. So I'm gonna start in order. I'm just gonna go from cylinder one through four. And what we're looking for is even. You don't have to crank the shit out of this. Just gotta get the little rubber O-ring to seal on the bottom. There's a Schrader valve in here that keeps pressure inside the unit. Make sure you start off at zero. And you're gonna be watching this gauge when you do it. You wanna keep cranking until the gauge stops going up. Don't count your cranks. Watch the gauge and watch when it stops going up. That was 150. It's a lower compression, large cam turbo motor. It's not going to make a whole lot of compression, but what we're looking for is evenness. So 150 in that cylinder. Also, you're going to want to make sure that your car is on some sort of battery charger or tender. You want the battery to have the same voltage for every crank. You don't want to be wearing out the, the battery as you go from cylinder to cylinder and getting um, less power behind your cranks. So here's number two. That one's 160. So 150 here, 160 there. It's about a 10 PSI difference. That's roughly... five to seven percent. Not concerned. Once you start getting over 10 percent, 15 percent, you can start getting concerned. One fifty as well. Time. That one's 165. So 150, 160, 150, 165. Pretty even. About what this engine's been at. That's it.